It's not time to start. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you edit yeah. this into the video? <laughs> I can't do the intros anymore. Someone else has to do no, it. Yeah. Welcome everyone. We are Hot Chips. <laughs> Every Tuesday and Thursday we bring you new video game videos. Uh, and if you like that, then hit like. If you don't, then hit dislike. Because we've never got a dislike, so someone needs to no. hit it. It was very aggressive oh, as well. Was it? They were okay. like videos. Alright, today we're going to tell you why mobile games are terrible. They are well, they are. Well, well, are they? Are they? Are they? Yes, they are. It's kind of terrible. <laughs> can we just vote and it can be a two Absolutely video. terrible. Can we get the paddles? The yeah, no, paddles? There's only three of them. <laughs> I'll just use my hand. <laughs> um, so, Reagan, tell us where this comes from. Alright, so Game Junkie uh, NZ on Twitter, who is a close friend with most of us. Um, maybe not, maybe even all of us. Maybe even you. <laughs> maybe. He, yeah. um, he's, he got his hands on Lara Croft Go and Hitman Go recently, and he sort of stared, how can people think mobile games aren't real games with these two examples? Um, to which I disagree. I just, don't, I just don't think two good examples can take away the fact that it's a market flooded with absolute shit. Mm. There you go. That's my st that's my yeah. statement. That's yeah. my that's my statement. Yeah. I'm right. ready to take questions. So I have the exact <laughs> opposite opinion. Really? Exact opposite opinion. Whereby I don't think it's fair to call really anything shit because <laughs> some of the stuff that you're calling shit yeah. has millions of players. Sure. Yeah, but it's who shit. Who love it? But yeah. they love it. No, but that's not no, the, but popularity. This is the same. Popularity and success monetarily yeah. does not make something good, right? I don't care. Ooh, like I don't know. Um, there it's, are there are rap artists or Justin Bieber and all these kind of things that are hugely popular oh, that are fine. that are cri that are critically <laughs> stated as being we're not, shit. We're not here to argue about the uh, oh, the, the validity of Justin Bieber's <laughs> music. Um, bye, but what bye, I'm saying, bye, like, kiss, kiss. That's uh, really if, just an opinion. If that's what you're saying, then. If it's popular and it has lots of people and people, you know, play it. The same thing goes with slot machines, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Millions of people playing those. Completely yeah. addictive. Made it's to take your money. Game. And they make, yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. they make a lot of money. A lot of people play them. Does that make them good games? Are they games? They're, they're yeah. gambling games, yeah. Then it's kind of... <laughs> where I, that's, that's, yeah, that's, it does. That's, <laughs> so that does make them good. Yeah, it does. See, I... I my, my opinion on the mobile gaming ecosystem is there are good games on it, definitely. Yes, yes. yes. Um, there's a lot of them. Like, there's not just two examples. No, no, no. There How are definitely good need? games on, on that ratio. To me, it's the ratio. Okay. But, but can there, there's a problem with the mobile gaming market, and I think it stems from the fact that um, it's, it is targeted so mass market. People that are playing these games mm. aren't uh, typically video game enthusiasts. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and as part of that... Um, if you make something bad or it's got um, it's out to do wrong a lot of these mobile games are kind of out to do wrong um, and they're more about creating addictive behaviours that's right taking your money every app is about creating addictive behaviours right and, not and, even and, real games like but the, the problem games. is that people are getting better and better and better at doing it yeah that's and, right and when you are attacking <laughs> the mass market and they're the community doesn't have a voice. If you did this in like on on Nintendo on PlayStation, the community would fire back. Yes. Yeah. They'd be like, "This is not what we want. We're not going to buy it unless you change something." When you're hitting the mass market through the App Store and through mobile, chances are these people. They, it's just the it's the mass market. They don't have yeah. a voice. They're they not going to be together. They vote with their money. Yeah. If they didn't like it, they wouldn't buy it. They but love so, but, it, so they no, buy it. But that, that's the addiction causes yeah. the fact yeah. that you will be spending on money on something yeah. because you're addicted, not because you like it. I think it. Yeah. mobile games being shit and addiction are different concepts. No, See, so, my major problem with what you just said is that you said that people that are playing these games are not video game enthusiasts. Yeah. And I have a massive problem with that because I don't think there should be this little umbrella whereby everyone who stands under that little umbrella is a video game enthusiast. And because I play Bejeweled and Lara Croft Go, I'm not a video game enthusiast. But I would no, state I that Bejeweled has far more depth than a lot of the games that are coming out on the mobile market. Yeah. Bejeweled isn't this thing where the, it gets to a certain difficulty level where you cannot pass it without putting in another dollar. Mm. Yeah, and my problem is not with the games themselves. A lot of them are built so well. If you think about Candy Crush, like the UI is amazing. Looks yeah. fantastic. Like the whole game is just yeah. built built so so well frames. but it's the would you call that no. a shit game no it's not I, a shit game but I the would. practices so yeah shit game. see i wouldn't call that a shit game because it actually is quite a fun games. game and it like the lights go off and bells and you get that that joy <laughs> and you, you don't know, have to yeah. exactly. the, the same triggers that slot machines use yeah. that sound and 
and like visual uh, noise yep. that makes you 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 have like uh, slot machine addicts that go to they call it their machine. It's theirs, and they will when they move it will get into the casino. They will go to their machine. You call it your console, don't you? And that's no, because they own a console. They don't own that machine. I think they do. There's there's like hundreds, there's thousands of them, yeah. and they have that one machine that is now theirs because they've got an emotional addictive mm. reaction to Again, it. I that's think semantics. It's a different semantics. Conversation. This is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but it's, it kind of fits into this, con- this um, conversation because I don't think the games are bad. I think the practices behind what they're trying to do with those games are really damaging to and everyone. abusive, right. yeah. So I've got an example of how the games are bad. Because to me, they are way shallower gameplay-wise than anything that we've seen um, in what would be the mass market of video games. Yeah, but they're worth that much. They're Think, worth that shallowness. That's what they're built for. So, so you're saying that the games are shallow? Yeah, I'd, I'd say cool. like the majority of mobile games, yeah. especially the majority of crap ones. Yeah, yeah. Which I'd argue are crap. Are shallow, but at the same time, most of them are free, or at least they're a dollar. Like yeah. that is still the same value that you'd get for the money of it. And um, just while we're on the topic of condemning a platform for ratios, <laughs> if you look at the PC, you wouldn't say PC is a shit gaming platform, right? Right. There are a lot of really bad games sure. that are. Open. The yeah, but you've got ways to avoid the shit on PC. You With do. Steam, you avoid you early access, you avoid green light, and you well, get the main store, and it's pretty easy to avoid the shit. You do with have iPhone ratings. and with mobile, you've got you've got to wade through. You or, well, or you have you to listen to do. the top ten, you do, thus yeah. making the top ten even more popular. Yeah. It's a self fulfilling thing. If you're in the top ten, you're gonna stay in the top yeah. ten for quite some time. Not true. You can look at sites like Pocket Gamer and see what's But good do the mainstream do yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they do. Do the you think the mainstream of video gamers don't just go into EB and go, oh, what's the top ten? No, that, well, I don't know if there are top tens. In there are, definitely. I would say, because... Well, then, yes, I'd say that most mainstream gamers will walk into EB and just get something that is being rated totally. highly. Yeah. yeah, I think, I, I disagree with what you're saying before, because I think 80% of people that are playing Candy Crush do not consider themselves a gamer. Yeah, yeah maybe not, completely. but I think that tends to be because of, like, other issues. It's, it's, that's what they want. They are, are targeting the market. Mm. That, that mass market is who they're targeting. Yeah, it's going to turn into a but I also know people who play, <laughs> who play Candy Crush and would like, like, do consider themselves yeah, gamers. definitely. That definitely yeah. exists, but I'm saying it's not, you know, those people, power to them because they know what's out there. Yeah. You know, yeah. They're not falling in as much into these addictive traps because... I, do, I just think the addictive traps mm. is a scapegoat yeah. for the topic of the I, got, I, was trying, I was trying to move on to an example. So in 1995 or 6, Theme Park released um, and it, the gameplay was hugely deep in, in regards to making sure your little people went into your park, went on the rides, made money, all that kind of stuff. Then when it came out on iPhone and mobile, everyone was like, all right, finally a strategic like game that we've been wanting on mobile, making it to mobile. They stripped everything, made oh. it free, and put in quick ways that you can buy like money to Not be able to good. get things. Mm. And it became that waiting system where you can speed things along. By the, and it was terrible. Yeah. And, but it was probably one of the better terrible games that were like that on right. iPhone. Yeah. So it takes an example that they knew, the developers that knew this was a game that sold well, yeah. that, it, that hooked people, and you, know, you paid your money and that was it. And they went, how can we make more money off this? And how can we make this require even less development? Mm. And they did that. And that's what that entire market is. It's these Was. really... Ba- it still is. It still is. The, the mobile market... It's not, though. No, yes, yes. I'm not saying every single game in the mobile market. Right. Like, like the two examples Game Junkie had are amazing games. Mm. And there's, like, Final Fantasy oh, games. Shit. and There's, there's plenty of good games. Yeah, there's Chrono Trigger, The World Ends yeah. With You, all these yeah. amazing games on mobile. Yeah. yeah. But... What do you think makes more money, that or Flappy Bird? Yeah, they don't, <laughs> they don't make money. They yeah. put Why that does on the for... money make it terrible? No, because the money encourages the people to build the games. Yeah. So yeah. if you're looking at it from a purely business point of view, which all businesses yeah. do, yeah. they would much rather make bad games that bring in more money than good games that bring mm. in half the money. So, so we're really a good... person oh, who really likes Flappy Bird. And they love There's nothing game. wrong with nothing liking wrong with it. it. So but it's, a, it's, Why it's is it but it's because it no, brings no. the quality to quality down overall of the games that are on the platform. Mm. Yeah. And, and it's two it's very so, different well, markets. Right? It is two different markets. But when you've got one market becoming super popular, yeah. it's going to bleed into the yeah. other market. Yeah. And we have a good example of that with um, Grand Theft Auto. Right, their online mode is making them truckloads of money through microtransactions. Something that they've never experimented with before. But it's to the point where they've said, don't hold your breath on any single player DLC. Mm. We're going to be putting way more stuff into the online mode. So people buying GTA for the story like they have for the previous five, mm. five, four, 
however many, mm -hmm. are now getting shafted because there is a bunch of whales spending a lot of money on this online mode, which really doesn't seem to have that many playing, but they're all spending a lot of money. And right. then when they start building GTA 6, where do you think most of their resources are going to It's going to go to an online mode. Which is to make sure that, and that's coming from this really, uh, this mainstream the want. statistic. There was Does a, that make it bad? Why is this bad? A big argument is my vote. Artistically, is potential. I, I think from a business, business point of view, it's fucking yeah, amazing. From a business but everyone, point of view, everyone's getting what they want. No, that's no. not true. Think of it another way. Then you've got um, back in the mid to mid nineties, early two thousands, you had like flight sim enthusiasts and they were guaranteed like flight sims like pretty regularly that's true until some, they realised arcade ones sell a lot better right so the mainstream got their arcade flight mm. sims and they slowly just killed yeah. this entire this genre this happens in everything though like sure, if is those people true. really wanted it they would buy it yeah. but they were like the hardcore market were buying it so and the same the thing market. But the same thing was happening with RPGs with Square Enix as well. They had these hardcore JRPGs and they slowly made less and less because people were buying more action-oriented games. Right. And it got to a point where, started last year, maybe the end of the year before, they came out and said, we've realised that we've screwed ourselves out of a lot of our loyal customers. Yeah. We're going to get back into making these um, hardcore RPGs. So yeah. it's kind of shown that, yes, they can attack the mainstream, but they're going to yeah. be like... Um, what's the, they're basically taking what got them into the industry in the first place and whittling it down into money and then realising, oh, actually, we're, we're screwing over a lot of people. Yeah. And are they, though? Not, <laughs> not the most I mean, of the people. How, how people would you happy. feel if, um, if the, the Tomb Raider crew said, you know, we made so much money off Tomb Raider Go, we're not going to make AAA Tomb Raider games yeah. anymore? Yeah, I'd be sad. But, yeah. like, if, if that's their business decision because people are making so well, much money playing I'm, it so much, that's yeah. obviously what the most people want. But those people aren't as passionate about their game. They are dropping more yes, money. They're no, they're not. not. They're not. So a million people put $1 in and they're not that passionate about mm. the game is better than... You know, yeah, they fifty thousand like really yeah. passionate Tomb Raider fans putting sixty bucks into a game. The money weighs money out. Money talks in every single industry, though. Sure, just, but that doesn't, mean it's but it doesn't make it right. Just think about the culture of it. He's he's pointing out the fact that um, if if there are no more AAA Tomb Raider games, there's no longer going to be like cosplay or forums or people talking about well, it. Yeah. Might like, be because they might put more money into the mobile game, and it could may, be equally as good. Maybe, but the the evidence suggests that you mm -hmm. know the quality of the community would drop, and it would all just be about spending money and just having quick games, and then just dealing with it another time. I think the way that Vang, have you seen maybe the Vainglorious though. community? Maybe. That Story game doesn't make as much money as Clash of the Clans or Flappy Bird or anything I'm, like I'm that. I don't care about the money in this conversation. But they, right, they'll right. stop making those sort of games. Yeah. Mm. I don't think so. That's, that's, that's an that's, example that's, of a game that wasn't developed outside of a AAA. It, it created its own community from the ground up. It's not a, it's not a here was a AAA game, now we're going to mm. downgrade it to mobile. That it's situation a situation is kind of a, I know, I know, a pie I know. in the sky situation. But, but that's what people are worried about. And I think I this all stems from a, a different issue of being um, we're going to create games catering to people who don't see themselves as gamers and don't understand the cultural aspect of gaming mm. and we're all sort of lumped in with with that lot um, and it's not bad to be part of that lot mm. it's not bad to be someone who just wants to play Candy Crush and, and have a little bit of extra fun in between mm. things but if it's crossing over into a different culture it, it can still damage that culture that's what people are worried about mm. for the mobile market mm. the conversation though is that mobile games are shit well, it's, yeah, and, and because and it started that's where with it comes from. Our mobile games, that's why we're real games. About it. That, right. That's that's the argument. Our mobile games, real games. And while there are great examples of uh, mobile games that are like Tomb Raider Go and Hitman Go are coming onto console, yeah. yep. and I believe they'll play a lot better on console with a controller. Maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe not. They maybe won't. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that that selection of really good games is a sm tiny ratio of of this mass market of let's just make money right. and that's and i get that all businesses are made around making money but i think you'll find more passionate game like developers making independent games on pc or wii u or ps4 i think i feel like i should clarify a clarify position i have nothing against these games actually existing yeah. in the mainstream having them what what we not see is we talk about them being terrible I'm concerned that it's the resource that goes into making these games that actually affects the development of other AAA titles. Sure. Mm. Like, the, like the Grand Theft Auto example is a great yeah. example. Yeah. The, the mass market that are spending heaps on microtransactions are actually offending the quality, the, like affecting the quality of the resource going in to develop these further 
what we would consider AAA games. Mm. That is concerning, but it isn't really like happening to a certain extent at this point. Like the Grand Theft Auto is the only one. No, I think that is. What it's no, Konami. Konami is a great example. Oh, yeah. Konami. Assassin's Creed has microtransactions all over the place now as yeah. well. Mm. Um, but that's in mobile and not because. Yeah, even once, like you think mobile. about you think about Street Fighter Five. They've said we're going to release Beer Bones, the game, like. Not that many characters, no story content, and we're going to do everything via microtransactions. Yeah, but the that microtransactions the, isn't mobile's fault necessarily. It's people's fault. It's the it's a product. <laughs> well, it's it's fault. not people's fault. It's a it it's a result of its own success that's damaging yeah, yeah. the consumer. Yeah. Right. They tried something out in the mobile market. Actually, yeah. probably even started with Farmville on Facebook. Yeah. And it went really well. So yeah. they thought, where else can we put this? Yes. So instead of saying we're only going to put it in free games, we're going to charge someone sixty bucks. And put these in as well totally. to make even more money off them. Yeah. And what that means is they say, instead of having this game with a roster of 15, well, we have a roster of five. And then we'll sell at full price, and then we'll sell these extra characters. Whereas in five years before that, ten years before that, you just got a full price game with full content. Totally. I don't think it's all mobile's fault, though. No, no like in this example, maybe it was Farmville. Whichever one... It could be anything's fault. It could be literally anything's fault that that happened. Like, yeah. you know. When we go, like, because there's a differentiation here. There's, like, when we say mobile games are shit, there's the game is shit or it's shit for everyone. And I'm in the it's shit for everyone camp, yeah. but the games are not themselves shit. Yeah. And, I'm, and I'm of the argument I'm, that there are really good most, games, and the most but fun. the majority are made super cheap on a no budget and they're terrible. Yeah. But, and that, but you do have some great ones. I just think a, you guys just don't like pay transactions. No, I don't anything. mind. Um, uh, Tiny Towers, I spent money on that. Uh, there's, there's been multiple... So you're contributing to this horribleness. If that, one, that one I paid for yeah. because it was a free download. I didn't pay anything throughout my throughout my time of playing. And then when I decided I'm not going to play this anymore, I gave him a tip. That's pretty much how I looked I've at that. I've never paid for anything in a mobile game. I, don't no, think. No. I, I paid for Go. Like, I paid for the game. Because I do believe developers deserve money for their games. I would rather the mobile market be full of $5 games that have zero microtransactions. How, does, how does the Kim Kardashian game make you feel? <sighs> that makes me angry. A that makes me really, really angry. Love it. No, okay, so yeah, but so there's another good example. Kim Kardashian is super popular. She, she makes is. a lot of money out of her popularity. She, does. she is not a good person. She is not uh, what I would what I would say is someone people should be looking up to. And that's my example of <sighs> mobile games. They're popular. They make a lot of money for the people spitting them out. But you should not be looking towards them for good examples of what makes a game. Do you have a post so now, now, now your imagine you're the world's. I do. Now <laughs> oh, imagine, imagine you're the world's greatest game developer, conceptual, genius mastermind, and you're going out there to build your what's going to be the greatest game ever. And then you see that you could just build Kim Kardashian's game and make millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, or you can make the best game ever created and make a few million. What you know, where where do you go? There's there's a there's a point around that that it's you know <laughs> no, no. I don't think that's too much of a of a worry because I, I think the development of games is a cultural thing and people in the industry tend to develop for their own cultural needs. It's not a there, there is there is the corporate side that's of it wrong. that forces those decisions oh. through. Indies, indies do. Yeah. Like no one yeah. else's. When you've got shareholders, you are not developing yeah, passion projects. Well, right. no, when you're when you're doing when you're with Blizzard and, and Valve, when they they have their ownership control of their company, they do that kind of stuff. And I think it's it's a lot of those AAA to developers to a certain extent. They still yeah. have stakeholders that they need or yeah. shareholders that they need. Are the real world marketplace. Yeah, but I, I I think for the for the real things that we mm. really want to care about, there's not too much of sure. a worry there. Also, because gamers are very outspoken, they will speak up about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. The fact that Nintendo are now moving stuff onto mobile shows what shareholders can do. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it's a good move for them, though. Like, I think that's going to bring up the quality of mobile games. The shit yeah. that they're going to release. They, they don't release really mindless do the stuff. Opposite. Or is it going to bring down no. the quality of their console yeah. stuff? No, exactly. they, they don't release unquality stuff. I mean, when, when was the last time Nintendo released a crap game? Like, Animal yeah. Crossing. Oh! Hey, that's a no, great that is, game. That is, that is not mechanically. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> or, or culturally a crap game. It's, you can't say that. You cannot like the game. As a huge Nintendo fan, I feel like I can, I can say that after putting 50 hours into it, I can come away from that and say, where was the gameplay? It's not, have you ever played The Sims? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like that. I, Except um, The Sims had way more to I'll tell you a story. It's different. Uh, at one point in my life, I was going through a, a rough time with family stuff going on. Um, I would sit down in Animal Crossing on the Wii and just go fishing. 
Yeah. And just fish. And I used oh, to love great. it. That's great. That's <laughs> great. And I'll just catch a fish and then yeah. I put it there in the museum and then you go fishing. That's something you can do in Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. Just go okay. Weaving. I feel like we've <laughs> yeah. probably talked in a circle enough mm. times mm. now. Yeah. Um, tell us you what you think of mobile games and yeah. maybe what is your favourite mobile yeah. game? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Totally interesting. Well, no, actually. what's funnier is what is the worst mobile game you've ever played? <laughs> we, and then we, we should have play to play them. them. We'll we do a video do and go through them all. Tell, can you tell us your best Cringy. device? I'd like to find new mobile games yeah. to play. Cool. Hey, cool. Alright, uh, keep coming back every Tuesday and Thursday for fresh new videos uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Hello everybody, we are Hot Chips. Every Tuesday and Thursday we're bringing you new video game content. <laughs> uh, fuck! <laughs> Shit!